Hey everyone, in recent years there's been a lot of technological advancements within the fishing industry, but one thing that's been around for quite some time and I personally think is underutilized is underwater cameras. And in today's video we're going to go over how I utilize these AquaView cameras that I have here in my day-to-day -day fishing. So being a, on the Great Lakes a lot, there's a lot of different species swimming around there. And whether I'm pre-fishing for a tournament or just fun fishing, an underwater camera can be a great tool to identify the species that you're seeing on your sonar. A lot of times you see large groups of fish that just won't bite and you wanna confirm that they are in fact bass or whatever target species you're after. The cameras are also a great tool to take a closer look at structure under the water and have a closer look at what you're seeing on your sonars. So here today, I have two cameras that I utilize the most. The first one and the bigger of the two is the AquaView MultiView HD Pro Gen 2. Now, this camera, it's a bigger, bulkier camera and comes with its own set of features for the XD camera series. The quality on this is much higher than other cameras. This camera is actually 1080p. And one of the my favorite features about this is that this camera and this package has 75 feet of cord wound up here. And fishing those depths over 50 feet, it can get very difficult to operate a camera. So having that extra bit of cord is super helpful to make sure that you get down there and you're seeing everything that you need to see. Now, the second camera that I have in my hand and it fits in the palm of my hand, and that's the key thing, is the MultiView Micro Revolution. And the camera itself, as you can see, is much smaller in this package. And it features a reel to help you in engage and disengage the cord into the water. Now, one drawback to this is that it only has 50 feet of cord available. So this isn't the camera that I'm using in those deeper spots. But the thing with both of these, they're part of the multi-view series, which means that they don't come with a screen. There's no screen here for you to view what you're seeing underwater. And the key is having a separate unit that you can plug in via HDMI, like the HD Pro Gen 2 here, or via RCA cable, like the Micro Revolution, into a unit. So the unit that I'm using on my setup is the Lowrance HDS12 Pro unit. And one of the coolest things about these units is that they have an HDMI hookup directly on the back. So I'm able to quickly plug in my camera. There's also an optional power cord accessory that you can get, which is an RCA hookup that you're able to plug in different cameras. So on the Lowrance, the way that you actually get to the camera screen once you have it plugged in is once you're on the home screen, all you have to do is select video and it'll bring you to the video screen. Once you're here, you're actually able to toggle between your video source. So if you wanna look at the camera hooked up to your RCA input, you'll go to video one, which we have turned off right now. But if you wanna go to HDMI, you simply go to the HDMI and you're able to display your screen there. And you can actually see that we have a fish just coming into view there. So cameras are super cool and they are a great tool when you're pre-fishing and they can help eliminate a lot of that time that you spend looking at fish. And most days pre-fishing, you don't even have to make a cast. You don't wanna catch the fish that you're seeing in practice. You just wanna make sure that you can see what they are, how big they are, and over time you get a better sense of what the right size of fish that you're after is and you're able to dial it in a lot quicker. So. Both of these cameras are available at radioworld.ca. They have a lot of good deals and special prices that come up. So if you're interested in adding an underwater AquaView camera into your toolkit on the water, check out radioworld.ca and get yourself one of these multi-view cameras.